Welcome back to HodgePodge. In this tutorial, we will be covering exercise 33 found in the level 1 Rhino training manual, where we will learn how to create a fillet. To begin our exercise, we will open up our file titled fillet.3dm, which we should have downloaded along with the level 1 training manual. If you are just joining in on this series, you may download the level 1 training manual from rhino3d.com. I will link the video that describes that process here. To turn our outside overlapping lines into a clean square, we will go to the top menu and select Curve Connect Curves. Then select the two line segments you wish to connect. We can repeat this same action effortlessly by right clicking and selecting the first option, Repeat Curve Connect Curves, or simply hit Enter on your keyboard. Now we will join these segments. Select them all and then click Edit, Join, or use your shortcut command J. Now that we have a closed square, we will fill it the corners. Go to the top menu and select Curve, Fill It Corners, and enter your desired radius. This will be the quickest way to fill it all corners at once. But say for whatever reason you maybe wanted a different radius at another corner, or maybe you could not join this square for construction purposes. You could fill it each corner individually by going to the top menu and selecting Curve, Fillet Curves. Then select two line segments you wish to give a fillet and set your radius. If we have Join selected, we will not get the end result that we were hoping for. So when you perform this action, be sure to have your Trim option selected. If we wanted to repeat this very same action again, all we would have to do is hit Enter. The beautiful part about using this method is that it could be used with our line segments before we previously trimmed and joined them. So that might be another reason why you would use this method, that is for efficiency reasons. We will fill it our inside square as well with a radius of 1. We could even provide a fillet between our two circles. Go to the top menu and select Curve, Fillet Curve. Enter 3 for your radius and then select each of your circles on adjacent sides. The same goes for arcs. Go to the top menu and select Curve, Fillet Curves. When you do so, be sure that Join and Trim are selected in the Operation menu on the left. Go to the top menu and select Curve, Blend Curves, Quick Curve Blend. Select the two curves you would like to blend and they will be blended automatically. For a more controlled blend, select Curve, Blend Curves, Arc Blend. You may edit your curve by clicking and dragging at the provided points. The second option would be to select Curve, Blend Curves, Adjustable Curve. This option has by far the most adjustments available, even providing a separate menu for adjusting continuity for points 1 and 2. Again, click and drag your points to edit your curve. We may create a surface using filleted curves. Simply gumball your smaller square upward and select from the top menu, Surface, Loft. Now this next skill is pretty neat. This is where we finally get into some of the cool stuff. Start by drawing three amorphous curves. The third and middle curve should be hovering above the others. If you are unsure of how to do this, go to your front plane to select the first point of your third line. Select a point well above the other two lines. Then select your project object snap. This will ensure that all of our future points will lie on the same plane as our first selected point. Again, go to the top menu and select Surface, Loft. This style will have a major effect on the form of your loft. You could select Normal, Loose, Tight, Straight Sections, Developable, or Uniform. We will first select Loose. Click Loft to finish. Then we will loft again, this time select Straight Sections. We will then loft for a third time. This time select Normal and select Rebuild with and enter 20 control points. Now I am going to blow your mind, or at least I hope I do. Type the command Points On and our control points will appear. You may click and drag these points to create and sculpt whatever shape you would like. That concludes my presentation of Exercise 33 in the Level 1 Training Manual. As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.